a certain period of time and we don't yet have the minimum numbers and so we're finding that the changing in terms of conditions quite challenging as well in our sector. Um, so a lot of people that travel on these are generally like persons who are well travelled and they, they have a fairly high expectation of um, what they're wanting to experience when they're here. We generally, with the special interest, they want a private guide and that guide must be knowledgeable on the sector. So if we're putting together a, a wine tour, um, don't put the junior person on that's just walked into the wine industry on, the, on that day looking after the people because they'll find them out very quickly. It's about pulling out for those the, the special interest groups the most knowledgeable person within your organisation or within your tour product or your experience that can talk to these groups. And generally they're happy to. If you need to pay an extra hundred dollars to have the CEO of the, um, the zoo or something come out and talk to people, which we find in the, in the Territory Wildlife Parks about crocodiles and things, we can always build those costs in, so don't be frightened to say to us, okay, we can guarantee the CEO or the head of the organisation on the day, but it's going to cost you $200 for your group to have his time or her time there. And that's fine, as long as we know up front and we know that they will then be that person on the day. The last thing we want to do is write someone into an itinerary and then find out that they're not going to be there on the day. We know schedules and things change, but generally if, we, if, if someone is committing something um, and we work you know, 12 to 18 months in advance as well with a lot of these itineraries. So we do understand personal changes, but we do need to know that if we've, we've got a special interest group coming in, they're specifically interested in learning about crocodiles and they want the key crocodile person in the Territory Wildlife Park or Crocodilus Park to talk to them, then we need to know that that, that, that person at that level is going to be there delivering the conversation and the, the experience for them. A lot of these groups will travel with a VIP host. Uh, sometimes it's a VIP specialist so we have to learn to deal with some egos quite often and um, that can also be challenging for the coach driver or the tour host that's traveling with them. Um, you know, we've got to have a, a microphone available on the <coughs> so they can get up and speak and talk at any stage. Um, they may want to do a, a lecture in the evening after dinner, so we have hotels, we look for rooms that aren't going to cost us a fortune, so that's to add cost to the itinerary where they can get the group together and have a slideshow and talk about things. So we've had this with rock art uh, specialists from around the world, we've had garden gurus, and you often get the feedback from the tour host or the coach driver going, oh, well, man, this guy's difficult to manage. But often that, is the, that person is the pure reason for people traveling on the tour. So we're dealing with a lot of different dynamics when pulling the, pulling the special interest itineraries together. Um, we do need to um, turn around on quoting is one of those things that we um, struggle with sometimes. Sometimes because what we're asking people to quote on, they go, how are we going to deliver that? But we do, for us to be able to get our pricing into the marketplace, get into a brochure or into a, a, a program, um, you know, we need a fairly good turnaround time on, on quotes. Um, and again, we've got to manage different group sizes and sometimes access into certain regions, you just can't get the 50 seat coaches, but we've got to work out other ways. So we've got a group that are going out to White Cliffs and then around to Mudawindji and that, so we're using, splitting the group into two four wheel drive buses. As long as we know that information up front, um, instead of trying to rattling along on dirt roads and a coach is going to fall apart, um, you know, we the groups are, We'll work with what we, um, the information we feed through to them in advance. So I'm getting the wind up off the back. So I'm happy to take any questions.